All right, folks, here it is. The grand unveiling of my progress on Anime Pressure Luck 3.0. I've been posting some pictures in my Facebook, but I figured you would probably want to see the board in motion. Uh, I'm really pleased with where I am so far. Still got quite a ways to go before it debuts at OhioCon, but uh, here we go. Let's load in the round one of mounts, like so. There you see the whammies, the various yen amounts. Uh, I'm actually using the proper font from the show now. So uh, that's something that we haven't done before. And I think uh, you might want to see how it looks in motion. Here we go. <laughs> Notice the fading effect. I don't know if you can see it that well here, but the slides actually do fade in and out as they're changing from one thing to another. And uh, the board pattern is truly random, both in the lights and in how the slides change from one thing to another. Uh, that's the first time that we've attempted that, and it's worked out pretty darn good. Uh, I took what I learned from Anime Tic Tac Doe and applied it to Pressure Luck, and the results are much better than anything I've ever done before with this game. So, let's stop the board. Big money, big money, no enemies, and stop! Eh, I want a Full Metal Alchemist poster, how about that? Uh, the board's smart enough to know how much each square's worth, especially if uh, it's in the middle of a transition. It is also smart enough to know to wait until the board's finished changing before it finds out how much the value it stopped on is worth. So there you have it. Anime Pressure Lock, I'll roll the board one more time. Come on, big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Stop! And I got another 300 yen. All right, anyway, this will debut at OhioCon, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks a lot.